Lawmakers react to Buffalo shooting that left 10 dead, 3 injured. President Joe Biden, New York Governor Kathy Hochul, and local lawmakers were among those who reacted to a mass shooting in Buffalo Saturday afternoon, where a self-described white supremacist killed 10 people and injured 3 others. Peyton Gendron, 18, was arrested for carrying out the shooting, which he reportedly live-streamed on the video game streaming platform Twitch, authorities said. In a statement, Governor Kathy Hochul said she hopes Gendron will be held accountable for his action, including imprisonment for the rest of his days. It is my sincere hope that this individual, this white supremacist who just perpetrated a hate crime on an innocent community, will spend the rest of his days behind bars. And heaven help him in the next world as well, Hochul said. White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre released a statement saying Biden and First Lady Jill Biden were aware of the shooting incident and were praying for those affected. The president has been briefed by his Homeland Security advisor on the horrific shooting in Buffalo, New York this afternoon. He will continue to receive updates throughout the evening and tomorrow as further information develops, Jean-Pierre said. The president and the First Lady are praying for those who have been lost and for their loved ones. President Biden later released a statement later honoring the law enforcement members who took immediate action to end the shooting spree. Tonight, we grieve for the families of 10 people whose lives were senselessly taken and everyone who is suffering the physical and emotional wounds of this horrific shooting. We are grateful for the bravery of members of law enforcement and other first responders who took immediate action to try to protect and save lives, Biden said. The First Lady and I are praying for the victims and their families, and hearts all across this country are with the people of Buffalo. Biden also said racism and domestic terrorism is antithetical to what America stands for, as Saturday's attack is believed to be racially motivated. We still need to learn more about the motivation for today's shooting as law enforcement does its work, but we don't need anything else to state a clear moral truth. A racially motivated hate crime is abhorrent to the very fabric of this nation, he added. Any act of domestic terrorism, including an act perpetrated in the name of a repugnant white nationalist ideology, is antithetical to everything we stand for in America. Hate must have no safe harbor. We must do everything in our power to end hate-fueled domestic terrorism.